This is the Dartmouth Arms. It's a pub in my ward of Highgate, and as you can see, it's closed. It's been closed since January, and this is because of a terrible company called Force It In, who bought it a few years ago and have been running it into the ground and trying every trick in the book to convert it into flats to sell it off as an asset. We've designated it as an asset of community value, which ought to protect it and stop it from being run as anything other than a local pub. Force It In have been appealing this, and they haven't reopened the pub. They promised they would within 16 weeks of January, and now it's the summer and it's not open again. So we've been protesting at their HQ, um, calling for them to either sell it to somebody who'll run it as a pub or lease it out to a company that wants to use it. We're also protesting this Wednesday the fact that it hasn't been reopened. Now, <laughs> Sean, you've been helping the regulars protest about this and help protect the pub. How long has it been shut for? It's been shut for five months now. Um, they told us it was going to be shut for 16 weeks and it's nearly 23 weeks now. So we decided we'd have this protest just to remind them that we're still here, the community's still here and we want us pulled back. Yeah, and there's life on the streets again today. Yeah. What's it been like with the pub shut up? Uh, this area, any of the tradesmen around here will tell you it's been absolutely dead. They don't really feel safe. Um, trade's been down. Overall, the area's really suffered. Camden Greens have been working hard on the issue of pubs. This is something that's happening right across our borough and right across London, where pubs are far more valuable as properties. Meanwhile, we're going to keep fighting for our local pub because it's important to our local shopping area, it's important to our community, um, and it's important for the life of London that we keep these assets in use and don't let them be sold off for profit.